Hello, it is Tuesday the 1st of uh, September 2020. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I'm currently reading Instructions for British for Servicemen in France 1944. This was published by the Bodleian Library of the University of Oxford. And uh, it's a, like a reproduction from um, one that was sort of sent out to British servicemen during the Second World War. And it's uh, very enjoyable so far. So that's where we're at.
today. It is um, Wednesday evening. My mum's got back safely to Tamworth, so that's good. I did my walk today. Hello, Biggie. I can feel your paws. Um, I've been having some weird chest pains, which isn't good, is it? Um, but only for like three days, so I'm hoping it's like a pulled muscle or something. I'm going to give it to the weekend and see how I feel then. Um, I've been reading, well I finished reading Instructions for British Servicemen in France 1944, I gave that a 4 out of 5, it was very fascinating. And now I'm reading A View from the Bridge by Arthur Miller, which honestly I'm near the end and it's mostly kind of forgettable. Um, there's not really that much I'd recommend about it unfortunately. After that I'm probably going to read, I guess I'm going to read uh, Verdict by Agatha Christie, this little Samuel French edition. And then I think after that I'm going to pick up uh, Hyperion because I'm doing a buddy read of it with, with Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. So I'm just finishing off some of the, the smaller ones that I've got left over at the moment. Um, and also I've been reading Bill Bryson. Um, what's it called? Made in America, which is like a history of language in many ways. So I've been reading that. Um, it's my bedtime book and I'm getting on with that. I also played guitar earlier and did some recording and I finished a new song, which doesn't have a name yet. Uh, I'm currently... Trying to watch YouTube, but my internet's not really letting me because I'm uploading stuff, and when I upload stuff, it goes a bit mental. So that is where we're at. I've, I've managed to get the radio show out yesterday's radio show out just in time, and I went to have dinner with my mum, uh, and then I left my phone in the place. But luckily, we hadn't been gone long, so we were able to go back and get it again. Uh, so now I've got to record my next radio show, although I did my interview for the next show today, so I've just got to record and edit it. So hopefully I can get it done in advance and I can get back to... I like to try and be like about a week in advance with them if I can. So, yeah. Hey Biggie. You a sleepy cat. Good boy. You a little stroke. Little stroke. Oh, I don't want to disturb you. I'm just giving you a little stroke. Oh, a little kiss for daddy. Yes. Oh, oh, okay, I'll leave you to it. Bye-bye. Hello, it is Thursday the 3rd of September 2020. I'm having chest pains again. Not good. I've got this spot on my head here. Uh, I've finished doing all the work in the garden though, and I've cleaned that and cleaned the porch. So, um, in fact, I need to tick that off my to-do list. Everything's kind of going okay, really. I've got most of the stuff I need to do is kind of in hand. So I'm just uh, cracking on with that really. Um, got a few eBay things to sort out and whatnot. A few videos to film, bit of work to do. Had a phone call with a client earlier, that went all right. Uh, and I'm currently just finishing off Verdict by Agatha Christie, which is very good so far. Um, well, I've only got like four pages left and the big twist has already happened. Although there may be another twist, you never know with Christie. So uh, once I finish that, I think I'm going to read Hyperion by Dan Simmons, which is a buddy read with Al from Big Hard Books and Classics. So I will get to that. Oh, and I've been doing these um, one minute puzzles, Bletchley Park one minute puzzles. In fact, I want to show me doing one, but I don't know how the easiest way to do it is. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll do that later. Um, so that's where I'm at. I Yo, to get it. I'm very hungover today. Uh, went out with my friend Jordana yesterday um, to the Three Tons and then to the Rose and Crown. And it's cool because I know the landlady there and she has a dog called Bruce, so I got to see Bruce. Had a bunch of shots and stuff. Um, so now I feel terrible today. I might be going to meet my friend Fran later because she's in town. So I've got, I'm going to give her a, a sunflower plant. Possibly some of my other plants, I don't know, because she's like she's into gardening as well. So uh, she gave me she gave me the uh, rhubarb that I have, my pepper plant, and what was the other one? Tomatoes. That's it. Um, so yeah, so she gave me those. So I'm gonna give her some of my ones, um, and also I've got some books for her kid, her her son. Um, he's actually not old enough to read yet, but she reads to him. So I had a little dig through all my old books and found some that I can give to them. Ah, uh, yesterday I finished editing part two of Meat, which is my upcoming novel. So I sent that over to my beta readers, so now I just need to finish part three and then I can get my proof copy printed. Um, and I also have some like feedback from them to include. I uh, finished reading whatever I was reading last. Oh, uh, Cleaning the Gold by Karen Slaughter and Lee Child. It was all right. Um, 
it causes it, it is it's a short story not even a novella really um because it's like 110 pages long but then the last 30 pages are a preview of another book so because of that it kind of just stopped like it felt as though it was the first 50 pages of a novel and then they just stopped so yeah like probably a 3.25 out of 5 for that and now i'm reading talking heads by alan bennett um, which I thought I was going to absolutely love because I know it's a big influence on Charlie, Charles Heathcote um, and in fact like his R. Doris series owes a lot to Talking Heads. Now I actually think that Charlie's book is better so <laughs> um, I don't know whether it's maybe because it's been so hyped up and um, I'm already an Alan Bennett fan you know I've read about four or five of his other books and this for me actually I've also read The History Boys and like those two are two of his most well-known works and I think they're two of the weaker ones that I've read. Uh, the best ones that I've read were the, the Lady in the Van and The Uncommon Reader. They were both fantastic. But um, I am enjoying it okay. I think the difference here is, is that when you read Charlie's books, they read like books first and foremost, but they could also be done as monologues. Whereas with, with Talking Heads, it reads as though it was a monologue first and they've just printed the script, you know, so um, I don't think it works quite as well in a book. It probably does work better as a TV show. Um, so I don't think it's anything that, that Bennett did wrong. I just think, um, I just think by its very nature, um, he's setting out to do something different with it. But I'm enjoying it and I, I will continue to read it. Hello, I'm watching MasterChef and I have a cat right next to me so you can see his fluffy tail. Biggie, what are you doing? Um, what day is it? It's Sunday. Is it Sunday? It's Sunday, Biggie. It's Sunday. I know. It's Sunday, I guess the 6th of September. Um, I'm just chilling at mine at the moment. I did my walk earlier, so that was good. Um, created a Facebook event for this event we're doing at the Arts Centre. We're doing a Music in the Garden event. Biggie, it's empty. He's trying to eat my sweets. Um, I finished reading yesterday, uh, Made in America by Bill Bryson. Um, so this bad boy here, um, I've been reading it for a long old while as a bedtime book. It was, it was all right. Um, probably 3.25 out of 5 because it was a bit too dense at times. It basically covers like the history of American English, um, which is cool and like, I think quite a worthwhile topic, but, um, it was just dense and long, took a long time to get through. But I finished it. Um, so now my next bedtime book is going to be Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Because I read the first ten pages or so and it wasn't really gripping me. So I'm hoping, what quite often happens is I'll make something like that my bedtime book. And I'll get 50 pages in and then be hooked on the story. And then I can switch it back out. So that's kind of what we're hoping for, I guess. But yeah, right now I'm just finishing off um, Talking Heads by Alan Bennett. Uh, with a full review of this will be coming soon and then I might pick up another Shakespeare, we'll see. But anyway, that seems like a good place to end this week's vlog, try and get back to weekly ones again. Because I, I, my last one was a little bit longer because we went to Bletchley Park and my mum was down and stuff. So um, yeah, we'll end this one here. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.